folks, guess who it is? Yes, I am alive. I am kicking. I am doing well. Thank you, everybody who has reached out asking where Simonetti has gone to. Now, you guys know Francis Lee has been absolutely terrific. I love the guy. I absolutely love him. He has been great. You guys have seemed to be somewhat nice to him. I know some of you out there are still, you know, got to have your hate hats on all the time and give people hard times. That's not named me. That's not named the Simonetti source. It's got to be somebody else. You have to go ahead and give him a hard time. Guys, I am not fully back. I got some time today, so I'll go ahead and discuss some Yankee news that's already out there and give my opinion and my take on some of it. We already know that the Yankees have been beat up this year. They've been injured. They've been down and out. There was times where even myself, I was worried about where this team was going to go. And my goodness, have a lot of guys stepped up and have really put the Yankees on their back and in position that the Yankees now have a chance to take over first place. And that could be done with this series now against the Tampa Bay Rays, the first place Rays. Yankees are right there, half a game out. We now know that Miguel Andujar will require surgery. He's going to go ahead and get that done. Have no idea why it was never done in the first place. Again, anybody who's had that injury, I'm not a doctor. I don't know how severe it was. But I remember when he came back, I said, this couldn't be that severe then because that's very hard to play through, especially you know, playing baseball. I mean, there's a lot of activity that requires certain movement above your head and above your waist where, you know, at that point, anything really above your shoulder starts to severely hurt with that type of injury. And typically, the only way you cure that injury is through surgery. We know Miguel Andujar has now opted for that. Don't know what took so long. I guess they really felt that his mobility was still good enough where... You know, 70% or so of Miguel Andujar would be better than what they had, which is Gio Urshela, who is having an amazing season for the Yankees. We'll talk about him again. But with Andujar being out, it's still a big hurt because let, let's remember, Miguel Andujar last year, no doubt about it, should have been a rookie of the year. He was arguably the MVP of the Yankees last year. And it was just a big part for the club overall. I mean, uh, coming into the year, you said, you know, the best hitters on this club are, you know, um, Aaron Judge, Stanton's always in that in that category. Sanchez was the possibility of a bounce back year. And Miguel Andujar was kind of that constant that you kept hearing as the best players the Yankees have right now. And losing him is still going to be tough. Now, Gio Urshela has done a tremendous job for the Yankees. He has been absolutely everything the Yankees can ask for and everything... Aaron Boone could ask for. Great defense. He's hitting. Hitting doubles. You know, driving the ball hard to all fields. That's what you want to see. And Gio Urshela has done a tremendous job and is going to be a mainstay for the Yankees. And may really found a spot for himself. So you never know what could happen going forward. The Yankees have found somebody that can maybe really take off for him. Speaking of injuries, because that has been such a big part of the Yankees season... The Yankees don't know what the hell's going on with Giancarlo Stanton. It's concerning. His shoulder is just not right, according to Aaron Boone when he talked to Brian Hoke. Didn't really know. I mean, there's something going on there, but we're not really sure. Who the hell, who's the doctor of this club? Who, who's, who's the guy going out there diagnosing these guys? What the hell's the game back in the day? Uh, uh, the, the, the friggin' uh... What's the game called again? You got to do the emergency crap. Well, what the hell's that game called? That's like what we're doing here. What do they got me out there diagnosing what the hell's going on? Who's the doctors here? Who's doing this? It's unbelievable. Any update on Stan? Nah, we really don't know what the hell's going on with him. What do you mean? I don't know. Something's wrong with the shoulder. We don't know what it is. Something's up. Is it a strain, a pull, or tear? Any 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 idea? Nah. Something. All right. We'll take that. I'm not booking the guy back anytime soon. Not booking him back. Yankees also picked up Kedri Morales. Maybe that has a little, a little, 
button you push there and go, well, maybe that's why. Maybe they are very concerned about Stanton coming back this year. He was penciled in to be the regular DH. Apparently, he can't play the outfield. So, there's another thing for you when it comes to Stanton. A lot of people kind of went with the whole, the Yankees get a Morales as a, well, they're replacing Andujar. I don't really see it that way. I think Urshela replaces Andujar. I think that's been the case. I think you got, you know, DJ LeMay, you could play third also. So the Yankees are pretty set at that position. I think a lot of the, the move for Kenji Morales from the A's has a lot to do with Giancarlo Stanton's health. And if the Yankees are going to need a guy who could DH mainly and hopefully get pretty solid production out of, I think that's the reason why they went out there and got Kenji Morales. It's not to play first base, folks. You know what I mean? It's not to be a first baseman. It's not to be a savior of any sort. It's for a guy that has that the switch hitter that has been good in his past and can DH. He can solely DH and focus on hitting the ball. That makes the most sense for his position. So, the Yankees, again, are in a good spot. Aaron Boone, some people feel right now, is the manager of the year. Hey, cool. The Yankees' bullpen is also looking terrific and what we expected it to be. Chad Green is back now. Hopefully, he gets going. Adam Adovino has been terrific. We know that uh, uh, Zach Britton has looked great. Uh, Tommy Canely has had a terrific comeback uh, from a poor season, a, a solid weight loss, getting in good shape and, and getting back to the guy he was before, and he's absolutely been dominating. So the Yankees' bullpen's in good shape. The rotation has not been bad. You know, they've been better. Domingo Herman right now might be your AL Cy Young Award winner if the season ended today. That's how good Domingo Herman has been. Always had the stuff, just could never really put it together, and now he has. So, guys, this weekend, just to update you, I will not be having a live chat or a podcast. I am filming the replay video, which is from, of course, Sunday dinner. I am filming that video on Saturday and Sunday. So I got two or three days, probably Friday night, Saturday, Sunday. So I got three days of filming on that. That will be very, very fun. And we will see what we can do with it. But other than that, guys, I will be returning hard very soon. Like I said, I had another interview yesterday. I got tons and tons of more interviews coming up. A lot of press for this album. I knew it was going to be this way. Didn't think it would be so consistent where I don't have a lot of time to do certain things. But again, guys, Francis Lee has been covering for me tremendously. Follow him, please. Like his videos. You know, comment back and forth with him like you guys do with me. And I will talk to you all again very, very soon. Thank you so much. Major League Baseball fans, it is an absolute must that you follow my good friends and sponsor MLB Marathon for any team that you love in Major League Baseball. Matt Fry and his team do an absolutely amazing job. They are a must if you are a fan of Major League Baseball, which I know for a fact all of you are. Check out MLB Marathon today.